Hey everybody! People seem to like Slasher's Keep. Let's play a little bit more Slasher's Keep, shall we? Is this Vern or, or Vimy? Either way, I'm okay with it. You know what? Let's keep it the same. I dare not put easy mode on. By keep it the same, by the way, here's what I mean. Random. Send it. <laughs> Appearance. Young enough? A little strange, but that's okay. All right. Now, I played a little bit more Slasher's Keep on stream yesterday. So, I, I have some more familiarity. I also have some more uh, speed. Like, I know what I'm doing a little bit more. Shouldn't take us 20 minutes to get through each floor. I don't know if we will be able to do one run per video, but we'll we'll do our best to like just see how things are going, right? Let, let's what, what what skill do we start with? Backstabber, sneak attacks do more damage. Okay, let me out, let me out. So a little bit of extra speed will benefit us here. Thank you, by the way, for all the support on the first Slashers Keep video. I wasn't. Just clickbaiting when I said that it was perhaps November's best indie game. I was being very sincere. I play a decent amount, maybe less since the baby, but still. You see? He's learning. He's learning. Send them. Dude, I'm getting so freaking good at this. Um, you can't really see our XP. Modifier, but don't let that get you down, okay? Hold on. There you go. Slice them. Um, I think that wh what I've learned from my limited game time... That's a scary room. From my limited game time so far in Slasher's Keep, I've learned a couple of things. Oh my god, he's so strong! One of the things is, early on... And this is like, we're talking early technology, right? Like, I'm still in the... I'm not even in, like, the stone age. I'm still in, like, the dirt age of my knowledge about this game. Um, one of the things that seems to be true... Is that uh, strength in the early game... That was a haymaker, brother. That's a haymaker, brother. You gotta run from those? Okay, not, not doing... As good as I would like here. Go ahead, what are you doing there? Probably should have blocked that. So, we, <laughs> if we get the early chances to maybe, like, level up strength, I'm going to value strength more than anything else we got in the game right now. A little bit embarrassed by my, uh, by the damage I took there, but that's okay. Because the faster you level up strength... Five of six charges? Let's not worry about that just yet, then. The faster you level up strength... What the heck is that? Um, I couldn't move for a second there. You have found a secret. The faster you level up strength, the faster you can kill enemies. The faster you can kill enemies, the, the better kind of combo you can build. See you later, please. Obviously, the better your combo, the more XP you gain. And you can see that it, it just is steamrolls from that point onward. I am a touch embarrassed by my performance here. Let's go! Embarrassment assuaged. We've leveled up. We gained Wand Slinger. Target practice pays off. Accuracy is increased by 10. They no, no longer break when depleted. That actually makes me feel like I can use this. So let's go two points into Strength, one point in Dex, and one point into Intelligence. This way we will do a little bit more... Oh, I shouldn't have drank the purple juice, dude. Maybe I should have. It seemed to work out okay. What the heck is that? Oh, don't don't need to eat a little worm. No reason to eat a little worm. Um, I do want to keep my stats kind of moving up uh, in all categories, just so that we can hit like the minimum stat requirements for some of the equipment we'll come across. But this is a long game, by the way. Like I think there's ten floors. I've I've barely scratched the surface of what's going on here. Oh my Lanta. Barely useful slippers. Look, dude, we didn't have any shoes on, so I'm not gonna be, uh... I'm not gonna be too upset. Alright, now we actually have some armor. This is exciting news. Yo! Light necklace requires five strength, but does give us, uh, some extra stats. You love to see it. Make sure you're eating the sausages. D don't eat anything that looks moldy. Chat tricked me. 
They were like, hey, eat that. It's like a jelly roll. I ate it. It was not a jelly roll. It was a moldy sausage, which I was very upset to, uh, to have been baited by. All right, let's maybe consider... Oh, what, what the heck is this? This is where you leave an item. Place an item on the altar and await judgment. I kind of want to put my wand on the altar. I would definitely want to explore the whole floor. This could be extremely good for XP gain. Oh my god. Or we could just die here. We could also just die here is the other alternative, I suppose. Uh, it, it's a little much. Like, it's a little much. Come on. Aim down sights. Dude, I'm, I'm actually gonna die. I, I... What, what can be done? What can be done here? We gotta escape? <laughs> Level up elsewhere and then return to that area? That was a freaking nightmare. What the heck? The mosquito just opened the door? Well, I think this is better for us. We're, we're out of wand charges. Get out of ADS, get out of ADS. Okay, one at a time. 34 XP. Bro, just keep moving. Just keep moving. Get in. Let's go. Sprint bonus. Okay. Let's go. Keep chopping them up. Chop them up. Chop them up. Somehow this is working out okay. We did just get better shoulders as well. A shot of invulnerability. Put that on your quick bar. And get ready. We're taking it. Might be a little overkill because there's no more enemies around, but... I mean, can you blame me? I got a little nervous in there for, for good reason, I think. <laughs> that was that was mighty scary. Just want to make sure we got all the doors open here. I don't know how you, you deal with the mosquitoes, dude. The answer might be just shield forehead. Just shield forehead, but... Uh, what can I say? I didn't? I want to try something. Let's. It's all about the spirit of learning, right? <laughs> That's got to be an explosive barrel. Any other statistical gains here? Any other barrels? Any other crates? Does not seem so. All right, so we're trapped. This must be a challenge room. Remember, sometimes they're like, you know, you can get a, a special... Or maybe that was on stream, so you might not have seen it in the video originally, but it was like, you get a special reward if you complete a challenge room in under 30 seconds. We're not going to complete this room in under 30 seconds. We've probably already been here for like a minute. So here's what I want to do. I want to bait this guy. He did hit me. So so who's baited now? Good question. All right. He, he's doing a little jig. Canadian country music legend Stompin' Tom Connors. We're facing a genuine uh, crisis here. I really thought he was dead. We have a long way to go until we hit our next, uh, our next level of experience, unfortunately. So I'm hoping, yeah, like, he sees me. Is he, he's coming, he's coming. Okay, that's good. It's good. We could hit him into the spikes, but I, I don't mind facing him one-on-one -on -one in this little, like, foyer here. It's all about taking our battles one at a time. One at a time, we get a couple healing items. Two two attacks. We only do two attacks. We get a, a couple healing items, and all of a sudden we're back. Like, we break these pots open, we're going to be feeling pretty good. Just needed to stun him. Let's go! He's, he got stun locked! <laughs> Shot of health. Okay, there we go. There we go. Got a little lucky, maybe, but we brought ourselves back from the brink. Money plus one. There is a, a healing item down there. Standard issue shooter we don't really care for. Try not to fall into the abyss, is my advice to myself. Alright. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Three parsnips. Those are parsnips, right? Anytime I have to imagine what a parsnip looks like in my head, I always just think to myself, it's a white carrot. Alright, I don't know what happened there. Perhaps I don't want to know. We'll be moving on. 
So far, I, I, I mean, especially after we got those healing items, I feel pretty good. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, let's get funky here, okay? I would like to place my depleted short staff on the altar. You are punished for your insolence. That's like so rude. That's not what I meant to do. This should be here. This should be on three. And then we'll just chill for a bit. Okay. That's so rude. Like, that, that's one of my best items. Just because it has no charge in it. You think it's worthless? Well, you know what? It's not worthless, okay? It's worth more than you could ever imagine. So this was the secret door we went through. But it's not the door to the next area. So, oh, jeez. Okay. You know what? Get blasted. Step one, get blasted. Step two, I like that you're here. Because we're going to just slice you up. That's a haymaker. Okay, good stuff. You dropped some loot too. Okay. This, you got you to play your cards right on this one, alright? You got to send them backward. You, you got you to gotta get yourself into a good spot there. Ah! Oh! <laughs> That was my bad. I didn't I didn't mean for it to go down like this. That's a haymaker. I'm trying to hit him into the spikes. It's probably more uh, complicated than necessary. Hello. Incredible work. We're not getting attacked from behind right now, right? We're close to the next level, dude. Just keep that XP multiplier flowing. Not exactly the most uh, engaging battle you're seeing right here but that's okay because you know what it doesn't have to be engaging as long as it's consistent as long as it's consistent beautiful we did level up i can't believe it um so this time we need to consider uh our stats our stats are of the utmost importance it's a complicated room here yo i've never seen that before um so we need 5 strength for this ring, which also gives us some lifesteal. We need 5 strength for the mantle, we need 5 strength for the necklace. So I think we should definitely go 1 in strength, and then maybe like... We actually get 1 point in intelligence from our uh, equipment that we're about to put on, so why don't we do this? We'll have 554. Then we can put on the gentleman's mantle. We can put on the light necklace, which gives us extra intelligence. We can put on this. Our ranged crit is better, though it, it matters very little. There we go. Um, because we're not using a wand like at all. Melee lifesteal. Let's perma learn then. Each melee hit restores health equal to 0.8% of your attack damage. Now we're talking. No idea. But you know what? That's okay. That, did that? It didn't lower anything in this room, right? I don't think so. It's it's already done. Okay. Maybe there was like a drawbridge or something somewhere. I mean, we haven't explored every. Oh, you know what? It's probably in here. Hey, I know you. Oh, you're lucky. Brother, I'm gonna get you. It's just a matter about when. Come on, come here. He's gonna hit me into the spikes. Okay, we, we gotta get him like close. Worth it. Oh my lanta. Dude, look at this. Look at this. Okay. Is there more loot? Usually there's loot on these, like, weapon racks, too. Ooh. Babby's first talwar. <laughs> um, let me see what we got here. Okay, so the silver key is a given. We don't really care for the shoes. The shoes can go. Five strength and five dex. It would replace this, which gives us lifesteal. But I, I wonder, because we perma-learned it now, I wonder if we can... We get half the efficacy, but we do still have the effect, which is nice. And this one gives us one strength and better melee crit, which I actually think might be better. Although, admittedly, the lifesteal, you know, we, we probably would like it to go... A little higher, but I think this is okay. Unfortunately, most of the other loot was like not super great for us here, but hey, you know, that's a 15 minute floor. Technically, there is more to explore, but 
I'm feeling pretty good. We got we got our maximal loot in my uh, expectation, at least. So one of the things is like highly high priority for me. If we could get a new weapon. What what happens if you hit these guys with one of these? New weapon is is like top of the list for me. Because this weapon is doing something, but it's not going to get the job done forever. Okay, you guys just back it up, okay? Someone in chat the other day brought up an interesting idea. Like, what if... This is a great position. <laughs> what if the more stuff you have in your bag, the more effective the knockback is? Oh... Copper key. The more effective the knockback is on the on the the bag. I don't know if it's true. But it certainly seems like a plausible system. Wow. Um that happened fast. <laughs> did I go in there and just start shooting like a madman? I did, okay? I did go in there and just start swinging like a madman. But the mosquitoes, we, we learned a valuable lesson. We do, we start with good stats though. Like, cause we, it's not pure permadeath. Higher range speed, irrelevant I would say. Cool sword, the tarnished Zabala. And of course, weathered fingers. My hands look like this so that hers can look like this. Alright. We'll try to get through one floor of this one. Hey, hello sir. And then maybe we'll, we'll put a cork in it till tomorrow's video. Do you get more XP for trap kills like that? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out how the videos would even work because uh, they are a little longer than what I normally produce. You know, if we're gonna have a run that has any possibility of, of getting decently into it, but let's not worry about that for now. For now, you know, it's like early Slay the Spire videos, you know, you don't have to worry about how long the game is if you consistently die uh, less than 20 minutes in. Alright, it looks like we will be doing this. So we do have a caster. This is, this is huge, this is important. Okay, just simplifying the whole setup. Is there a place? Oh, there is a place where we can knock you into the drink. Okay, so just get ready. They're gonna squeeze past this barrel. Money well spent. We got it. We got to close in a little bit more. Okay, you know what? We swing quickly. Let's stack up those face attacks. The caster, we kind of can't do much about right now. We just got to slice these guys up and hope for the best. Okay, look at that. Look at that. We need that. Get up there. You got a 1.3 XP bonus. Just need to find the staircase. I'm begging you. Oh, we got it. We got it. Okay. We, we, I mean, it's not going to be worth all that much. But I'm still proud of myself for making it happen, okay? We're sprinting. What the heck is this? Invulnerability. Let's go. That's so good because we're like... I, I mega, mega hate the, uh, the mosquitoes, dude. Can't help but notice that my HP is still like... Oh no, I was going to say my HP appears to be going down, but I think I'm just misreading the graphic. Okay, that, that was incredibly sweet. Let's see. Requires five strength, gives dex. Obviously, crudely drawn map is sick. Wait, we got weathered footwear and farmer's treads. Come on, we're wearing the, the gladiator sandals. No doubt about it! Who dares wins, right? So I believe green on the map is our save point. Hello. Which is always good to have, just in case you, you know, want to cut the video in half. Okay, you're chilling. Rate of fire, damage 1 to 2, but 25 charges. Damage 5 to 8. We're going to put that on our quick bar temporarily. We'll put this one over here. Definitely looking forward to getting some more stats, though. Honestly, I'm impressed. You gotta try, right? Whoa! 
It's an actual gun. Okay, I don't want to... That actually seems pretty great. I know the damage was kind of poor. But, on the other hand... The ability to kind of like blow stuff up from afar really easily... Appeals to me quite a lot. Oh, now we're talking. Nice try, buddy. Nice try. We got health potions. We can sustain this to try to get a level of aggression that's a little bit higher. Or can we? Or can we? I don't know, but here we are. I do see that there is a healing box right next to us. You know what? Take one of those and call me in the morning. We got a 2.14 XP bonus. Get up there. Please just get up there. This is very important. It's one of my highest combos in history. Ladies and gentlemen, a 2.38 XP bonus. I'm feeling pretty good. Almost at the next level. And then I'm, I'm waiting. Oh, you can't see that we're almost at the next level. Or you, you can't see the XP multiplier. Just take my word for it. <laughs> I guess I could put my face in the top right, but it's... I think it's relatively minor. You may agree or disagree. Okay, we want one more level. We get to wear the ring, which gives us more decks. We got one enemy, two enemies. Two enemies. We've made some noise. It's okay. I gotta remember... The same philosophy you use at KFC is the same philosophy you use at Slasher's Keep. No matter how hungry you think you might be... I'm telling you, you're always gonna do better with a two-piece than a three-piece. You, you think you need the three-piece, you think you got the appetite for it. Maybe you are hungry, maybe you tell yourself, you know. I can eat three pieces of fried chicken along with a couple of sides. There's my parsnip. Um, you're, you're, you might not feel that way when the first uh, few bites hit the bloodstream. That's all I'm saying. You get greedy, you start to take health over time or, or damage over time as a result. You can always order an extra piece later, you know? That's, that's all I'm trying to tell you right now. Alright, so we have hit our save point. Five strength. I Why not keep the stats a little bit more balanced right now? And then this will give us one extra dex. So actually our dex is higher. My mistake. Not a bad thing necessarily, but but my mistake nonetheless. Okay, yeah, go, go ahead, smack me. Okay, you know what? Go ahead, keep smacking me. I'm walking backward here. Remember. Remember the value of the two-piece. Two pieces. Two pieces. Two pieces. Maybe a little coleslaw on the slide, but for the most part, we're going two pieces. Okay, this, I definitely feel like I've got a, a range disadvantage here. Okay, see, that's why you don't go for a three piece. It's unnecessary. It's unbecoming of you. Look at the skills that we are gaining as a fighter right now. Terrible place to stand, quite honestly. But then we do this! Oh, dude! It's beautiful. It's a, it's a no-risk investment. Slice him up. Okay. So we are pretty close to the end of this floor. We do have to find the right way to go to make it happen. Oh, hello. This one's my bad. <laughs> And by my bad, I mean my good. Oh, look at that. Dude, the XP is so high. I don't know. I think you might get extra XP from kicking him down the hole. Have we been this way? We have not been this way? Okay, look at this. I see he's hanging out near the spikes. Oh, we have been. <laughs> That's an understatement to say he's hanging out near the spikes. He's hanging out on the spikes. If you know what I mean. So I think this might just be taking us back to our starting room. Level 3 seems to be like a decent place um, to, to leave for the second floor. Although we do still have like half of this floor left. Okay. If you'll excuse me, I just need to... Um, it's worth taking a slight hit, I think, just to finesse this. Like that's what I'm learning now. Take all the time you need. 
in order to get these guys in a position. Like, if you lose a little bit of HP, it's probably worth it to get this, like, sick combo going. That's so easy just because they're so spikeable. I should have I should have stunned you. I bet if I had stunned you, I wouldn't have taken any damage there. And then we could take our time. Don't eat any moldy stuff. But smash things open. Thought that was edible. It turns out it's just the visage of a young goblin. Excuse me? You ever think about how massive you have to be to move a table like that by just walking into it? Spikes? I don't see spikes. I do see a barrel trap. You can tell that we're starting to level up our understanding. It's not quite there yet, but we're starting to level up our understanding of how to play. Hey, come here. Okay, I did let him hit me, which is kind of embarrassing. But, on the other hand, there's 82 XP. You. This is what we wanted to see. So much better than usual. Oh my word. Okay. What do we... Uh, excuse me. I didn't know you could... I, I thought you could loot the man's bag. Armor plus 8. Actually incredible. We don't have pants. So I'll take cargo shorts. It's not my preferred... Uh, range speed 2.5. We'll definitely go for higher melee speed. It's not my preferred outfit, but that's okay. Dex plus 1 or slightly higher max HP. We'll go dex plus 1. And then Tarnished Longblade, literally one max damage higher. So, you know, there's something to like there. Yo, but now we're talking. Remember, we have limited loot. Or limited inventory space. Melee crit is better, plus it's a sweet helmet. Honestly, give me the axe. And then the bone. Okay, give, give me the bone, dude. That's what I'm looking for. What the heck is this? Toxic Barb of the Void? I mean, come on. As the names get more impressive, you know we're, we're more likely to go with it. Nothing on that one. Alright, take me up to the next level. But I think that is going to do it for, uh, for video one of Slasher's Keep here. I wouldn't necessarily want to give you the expectation that we're going to be playing this game forever. We're going to keep it going for a little bit here. If you enjoy it, click the like button. It's a good way to send a message to me that you're enjoying the content. Apart from that, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Check out the game on Steam. I'll link it in the video description. And of course, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya! I gotta, I gotta hit the stop recording button. It requires me to alt-tab. See ya!